Hello and welcome back. My name is April Ray with the Introvert Mobile Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So I wanted to do a quick tutorial about uh, Facebook ads and Facebook marketing and how you can use the Facebook ads manager to actually get a really clear, get really clear and specific about your target market and how you can create, once you do that within the system, you can actually create really targeted ads to that um, audience that you've created. So in, you're going to go to the ad, your ads manager and let me just show you really quick um, how I get there. Um, you can type in the address or you can go to your um, Facebook page and click on this little drop down here and you just go to um, either create ads if you haven't done so or just go to manage ads and then of course that's gonna that's gonna bring you here and what you want to do is you want to click on the down click down box of tools and then you want to hit audience insights let me just get rid of this here and that is going to bring up your audience panel and what you want to do is choose an audience to start and you want to choose everyone on Facebook okay and then what that's going to do it's going to bring you to this page here and if you've done ads you probably are familiar with this uh, left hand sidebar um, the kind of information that you want to input but we want to get really specific so first of all you want to find out where is your target market located what city what state um, I always choose the United States and I only choose and with every aspect of this you only want to choose one um, one specific interest or state or age range um, either you're gonna do if you're talking about gender you're either gonna do all or you're gonna do men or you're gonna do women you're not gonna do um, well you can do all but I would like I would be specific with either men or women depending on how your demographics turn out when you start to add your interest and this interest section here is where things get interesting if you click on it's going to give you some um, menus that you can choose from um, you can choose business and you can scroll down and just choose if you're in fitness and wellness uh, family and relationships shopping fashion technology you can choose from there or you can type in an interest what I do is I like to first before I go here I like to research fan pages fan pages that I know that um, the people that I'm trying to target um, like to go to it's in my niche um, and they have a big uh, fan base and one of those is Les Brown so I'm going to type in Les Brown now not everyone is in here but a lot of times if they're big enough and they have a big enough um, fan base they're gonna be under the interest uh, label if not you can choose maybe um, social media or you can choose if you're in the network marketing industry you can choose network marketing um, you can choose direct sales but just make sure that you're only doing one interest per uh, entry okay and what you'll notice is as you choose as I chose an interest my age and gender section change so the people um, that are in less Brown's um, sector 54% or I should say 76% of them are on, are women on Facebook and 24% um, of them are men or 40% total of Facebook are men so that kind of gives me an idea of who I want to target I'm probably gonna target women because seven per 76 percent of um, my target market are women so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click women and if you notice um, just watch this number up at the top here um, it's 900 K to 1 million monthly active people now that's gonna change and we kind of want to narrow that down even more so also if you notice um, the highest amount of uh, when we talk about gender uh, or I should say age the highest amount there's 20% are to the 25 and 34 range I'm not even gonna look at the 2% here but 20 uh, percent are 25 to 34 30 7% are 35 to 44 and then 28% of it 
of them of the women are 45 to 54 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a range of because of this because of what it's telling me when it comes to Les Brown's group I am gonna choose 25 to 54 I think that is a I think that's pretty awesome. I think that's really helpful using this tool to kind of pick an age range because sometimes we're just kind of throwing it out there. Maybe we don't want to work with people who are in their 60s. I don't know. But it's good to have a specific range that you know that there's a, a good chance, you know, there's a, a good ratio of people who are, uh, are going to see your ad. Okay, so now if you look, we're at 700K to 800K. That's actually a pretty good um, amount of uh, people that you want to be able to target. If you scroll down here, when it talks about connections, or I skip connections and I go, um, well, let's click on, yeah, I go to, to pages, and I want to pick people who are not connected to my page. I want to market uh, an ad, most of my ad right now, to people who are not connected to my page. And I do this when it comes to Facebook like ads. Facebook like ads are really, really important in building your audience. When you're able to get super specific about who is going to be more apt to like your page, um, you really start to build uh, your own your own little city of people, of potential customers, prospects, um, partners. Um, without having to do it organically and orga organic is good I, I get leads I get likes from organic just you know posting online but it's it's kind of it takes a while it takes a long time it and because of the way Facebook's algorithm algorithms are now you really um, aren't being seen when you create a post especially when it's on your Facebook fan page and we really want to do most of you can't do marketing on your Facebook profile page um, you can but you know you're, it's against Facebook rules but if you really want to get a play like the big boys you want to do it on your Facebook fan page and you want to do uh, paid ads it's pay to play but it it really is worth it alright so I'm doing people who are not who do not like my page now if you go over to page likes you can also get an idea of what that um, what my my potential audience what kind of pages they like this is very important to kind of look at because some of them don't really pertain to um, my niche so I help um, network marketers I help social media I do social media I do branding um, and I could probably still go along with um, some of these pages female entrepreneur that's definitely something I can work with writers um, chefs yeah anybody for me in my business anybody that's um, got a business and wants to build a presence online I can definitely work with um, brown girls collective I don't know what that is but you know I could probably work with that black girl black women do work out I'm not sure about that that's probably something that um, I'm probably not going to get too much play from people in, in that page like group <laughs> health and wellness um, community organizations educations authors and product and services now sometimes you might get something in there that's totally not in your niche do you really want to market to them um, I would say if there's a if there's more page likes um, that are for in your niche then go ahead and go for it but sometimes you'll get those page likes that you know have nothing to do with with your niche now if you scroll down you'll also see uh, Facebook pages that are likely to be relevant to your audience based on Facebook page likes so we have Les Brown of course that's who I'm targeting um, I don't know who this person is um, Lilana Van Zandt. I have no idea. I, I hope they, they should speak English because I, I believe I picked um, English speakers. I'm not sure. <laughs> Chanel Cooper Sykes. I'm not sure who they are. TJ, TJ, TD Jakes. Um, Black Women Losing Weight, Essence. So this is a lot of African American stuff because Les Brown is African American. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I can work with that. People, there are a lot of people who are um, in business look at essence a lot of people who are in business um, look at TD Jakes so I think that might be a, a pretty good set for me um, you can look at location I picked United States so of course this is kinda gonna give me um, it looks like the majority of my people that I'm gonna be uh, looking at are in Georgia 
so that's interesting but as long as they're in the United States I'm good um, the activity if you look at the activity it's going to show how much are they on Facebook how much do they comment so this is really good to find out you know what the kind of people you're targeting how much activity do they do on Facebook um, so it's the number of times the selected audience perform these actions on Facebook. It's based on Facebook user activity envi and environmental data. So lifetime, 71% of people like pages, so that's a good number. 44 of them comment, um, 48 of them post liked, um, post shared 18%, um, one pr promotional, and 43% they clicked on ads, so that's pretty cute, that's pretty good. 63% of my targeted audience um, are on desktop and mobile. 36% um, are mobile on only. Um, looks like 24% are on computers. 18% are on iPads. Um, this is good. 19% are, are on Android. We got mobile web, 27%. That's good. Um, I would like, I like desktop people people who look at desktop and um, phones are good too okay so you can also look at their household this is really these are really fascinating stats to kind of create your own avatar with right you know do you want your target audience to let's see household income to have a fifty to seventy five thousand dollar a year household income or would you rather have only target people who make uh, two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty you can do that you know you can definitely um, target you can get that specific in your targeting you can get specific in um, people who own homes all right so in my target audience I've got 63 percent are homeowners 37 of them are renters that's awesome household size it looks like 30 percent have um, looks like a number of adult and children who live in single US home based families okay so 24 percent have one kid I guess that's telling me Hmm, that's interesting okay so then we have the home market value so you can really look at whatever target market you choose once you choose your um, specifics here and it'll give you an idea of what these audience and what their activities and what their behaviors are when it when it comes to online um, activities and how much do they purchase this retail spending estimated U US retail spending compared to income based on purchase activity. So 77%, that's kind of low, I guess. And 30% online purchases, that's a good number. I got 32%, 43%. This is interesting. So these are very good just kind of descriptions. You can find out how many of them have kids, how many of them have pets or pet products. How many of them have subscription services? Um, they pick clothing uh, um, sites to look on, sports and outdoors. These are what their behaviors are. So you can even target it, your uh, market to what their behavior is when it comes to just non-Facebook stuff. This is awesome. Definitely want to, anytime I decide I want to go in and do an ad, I'd like to create another audience and I want to define it a little bit more depending on the kind of ad. This ad is just going to be a likes ad. I've done one with Les Brown before and I got really good results. However, I did a test where I tested it with Les Brown and then another, um, another specific, um, interest which was social media so I'm gonna find out I didn't I'm gonna do just less brown and see how much uh, more likes I get just by targeting uh, less brown only and just by targeting that age group in the United States okay let's see here I'm not gonna do specific to city I'm just gonna keep it um, United States okay and then that's it so whenever before you decide you want to place an ad the first thing you want to do is you want to research what pages uh, on Facebook 
do you think your target market um, are, are interested in? What are they liking? Where are they, where are they hanging out? What kind of um, groups are they hanging out in? Now you can't target groups on here, but you can target Facebook pages. Um, you're looking for Facebook pages with a lot of um, fans, um, over 100K or more if you can. Um, so you wanna do that first and then come in here and see if you can find them when you type them under um, under interest. If they're not there, then look at magazines that are on Facebook. A lot of magazines like Entrepreneur Magazine is also and they also on Facebook and they have a very big following. So you can do Entrepreneur Magazine. A health and wellness, if you're in health and wellness, then obviously you're going to look for health and wellness fan pages that um, get the most, that has the most fans, right? And then you're going to see if you can find them in there. So just play with this before you create an ad. Once you're done, you can um, save your ad, give it a name. For some reason, I can't save it here. I have to go somewhere else to save it. It may be my system, but you should be able just to click save, right? Let me hit this more. Oh, let me hit save as, maybe that's it. Okay, that's it. You have to hit more and then hit save as. So I have a few of them in here. I've got female entrepreneur that I created, realtors um, who want to uh, get more leads for their um, business, and I have a Vima audience. So you can save your audiences here and use them over and over if you want to. If you seem like you got one that you get really good numbers from, you can do that. So I'm gonna do Les Brown. I'm just gonna title it Les Brown. And I'm gonna hit save. All right, there you go, and that's it. And then when you're ready, if you're ready immediately, you just hit create ad. And I don't use Power Editor, I actually just use the Ad Create tool. Um, to me, it's just a little easier, and um, as soon as I'll probably, I haven't really looked into the Power ad Editor. I've, I've heard some good things and some bad things, but um, I'm gonna get a chance, when I get a chance, I'm gonna play around with it and see, maybe I might like it better, I don't know. I hear you can have, there's more features on there that you can use, um, but right now I'm just using the Ad Create tool. It's just a lot easier, I think. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the box below this video. And if you are on my Facebook page, don't forget to subscribe. All right, that's it. Thank you for joining me and bye-bye for now.